Hello Summoners and Summonettes, it's Gordon here and welcome to episode 11 of Backburner Champions and today we are on Aatrox in the top lane and I gotta decide what I wanna buy really quick because we are against a Gnar. We'll YOLO it dude, we'll go with the D-Blade, Health Potion as well as Warden Totem. I was thinking about potentially going with a D-Shield just cause he's got a lot of poke, obviously he's ranged, but I should have decent sustain with my W once I get that, so I'll just go with the D-Blade for damage here. And honestly, we both brought Teleport, so I have that going for me as far as you know I can get poked down and just return into lane, but I'm not expecting to do too hot. And if I get a kill, that will be just a blessing from above because I don't think there should ever be a way I should touch him because whenever I try and jump on him, he's just going to jump away. So I, it should literally be impossible for me to ever hit this Gnar. So I'm probably just going to have to let him shove me in here and try and get some CS under the turret, which is going to stink. But they are all AD, so we will eventually outscale them, hopefully, especially if Talon gets shut down. So we pretty much just have to go for a mid to late game here and not try and get dumpstered. And I have a sign in the jungle and they have a Rannis, so definitely don't expect to have any help early on and I expect to get ganked a lot, so there is no reason for me to try and go aggressive. One, like I said, it's just gonna juke me and hop away. And two, the second I hop in, there goes my gap closer. Rannis shows up and I'm dead, so. I'm pretty much going to be saving my hop for an escape, and that's it, so we'll see how it goes here. But it looks like bot lane's already got some action going down. Oh god, I already missed that minion. Okay, well, rip that minion. I'm going to go ahead and E, and I thought I was going to hit Gnar there, but I missed him. And I'm already taking a lot of poke damage, but I'll go ahead and shove it up a little bit. I think they actually started blue buff, because Gnar came a little late to lane. And their bot lane didn't actually leash, so I have a little bit of room now to be a little aggro because Ramus is going to be on the bot side of the map, so that'll be good for me. Going to hit level 2 here, hopefully, and we'll pick up the W, and now I have some decent sustain here because most of you guys know how his W works, but every third consecutive auto, you either heal yourself for a crap ton of damage, or you can activate it and deal more damage. So... It has its ups and downs, but if you're healthy, you might as well get that extra damage in there, but this gives him incredible sustain, so that's what I really need in, in the lane. He's about to go Mega Gnar, so I don't want to get cheesed by that. A lot of people lose lane level 2, level 3 against Gnar on his first uh, Mega Gnar evolution, and it's just, you gotta watch out for it, you gotta pay attention to it, because it can make or break a lane. No! Alright, we got the Siege Minion worth. I thought I was gonna miss that there. But 13 to 13, so exactly tied, but I have a wave left over for me to chunk, so I actually have the potential to be a little ahead, and that is really, really good. Oriana picking up first blood, getting the doobies off the ramets in the jungle there. So hopefully she can use that to shut down this Talon. Ouch. I hate Nar. Gonna go ahead and just try and auto the, the minion wave here, not let it build up too hard into the turret here, because... I'm not too sure how Aatrox does under the turret here. And if I get to attack the minions more instead of with the turret attack them, I'm going to get more sustain back from my W here. Got, but going to max my E here just because it's your main source of wave player and poke in the lane. Alright, beautiful. So we're... Ah, that I would to the turret there. But we're actually doing a okay in the lane here, so I'm pretty happy with it so far. That was not okay though. I did not mean to... I meant to auto the minion there and it... Tried to auto Gnar, and I got a lot of harass down from the Gnar there. And he popped his uh, Silver Bolts, I guess we'll call it. Whereas every third auto attack consecutive does a lot of uh, bonus damage to the target. But I'm slowly whittling him down here, actually. I'm hitting him with my ease when I'm trying to clear the wave as well. And I have pretty damn good sustain, so we have that going for us. Still maxing my E here, level 5. And we will go ahead, what's the CS? 32 to 22, where did that come from? All right, we are stomping this kid. There goes this Mega Gnar. I'm gonna go ahead and just last hit and harass him there as well. Both of us hit level five, don't have, ooh, DC. Don't have Ignite, so I don't have too much kill potential on him, but still, 
taking little leads here and there is pretty damn good. I think Sion will come back, because obviously it wasn't really a rage quit. I knew it, I knew it. As soon as that uh, Nar started running right at me, as soon as I got close to the bush, I knew Ramus was close, because he had no reason to even try and be there. All right, he reconnected, that's good. I'm just gonna last hit with my E here, because I know Ramus is still in the vicinity. And I don't want to die. I do have my passive, my res, but still, I'm going to play it safe. I knew it. Get out of here. Whatever taught me, I'm still not going to die. Blah, 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 blah. He took a turret shot. Ooh. 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 I wanted to do that. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll flash E in here. We'll see. No, we won't. Okay. I had the potential to maybe pick up a kill there, but it would have been really, really risky. I didn't know where Nar was, and if he was around, I could have potentially dropped, so rather just play it safe here. But I am going to go ahead and shove this out now and force Nar to potentially teleport, which he does. So I will now be able to walk back to lane and actually keep my teleport, so that is huge for us here. Now what do I want to pick up? We'll go with the Boric. I was thinking about maybe going Hydra. I've done it before, and I really liked it. But I think the Bork is going to be pretty key against their team here. Because Nar and Ramus can get pretty tanky. So that percentage damage is going to be key here. And yep, see, so the waves are going to meet hopefully right about here. And I shouldn't miss maybe but one or two minions to the turret here. So I get to keep my teleport. Yeah, two minions gone. And I don't really miss anything else. So now I have the ability to pressure bot lane in a positive way. Unlike this Nar who had to use his TP. So we're in a really, really good spot with that now, so go me. Gonna try and last hit here a little bit. Not bad, not bad. Pull it to the turret. Alright, cool. Dog is Q. Get out of here, kid. Beautiful. Do I have my... No, this is... Alright, cool. We're, we'll sustain up here. So just gonna try and slowly chunk him down with ease and then maybe get an engage on him here. God, I let him proc his extra damage there. That hurt. Still maxing my E, obviously, for that incredible sustain. And toss out an E, boom. That's awesome. I mean, that does so much damage to him. Slowly but surely chunking him down. I gotta pay attention. If Ramus ganks bot lane, I can easily teleport in there and counter gank it. So, gotta be wary of the map here. But until then, I need to work on this feller. Alright, cool. He missed everything there. So, his jumps down, bullet throws down. Sion is looking to dive bottom. Did get a kill. I'm still paying attention to see if I need to counter gank. But at the same time, I'm still wailing away on this Gnar. We're both about the same health, but I have more sustain than him, so that's good. Ooh, hit him with another E as well. Save the minion! Nah, no, alright. So this wave, I'm going to focus on getting healthy here. I'm going to get a lot of auto attacks off and proc the passive of my W here. So look at that sustain right there with the bilge water and my W. Fantastic sustain there. Toss not the E, doesn't connect, but we're still in a commanding position in this lane. Not gonna let him proc that W there. Shoot. There's nothing I could have done with that uh, TP there. Wouldn't have helped anything. Nice, that E barely connected with him. That might send him pack in here. I do have my ult as well, which I need to remember. That gives me just insane brawling potential. Clearing out the wave here, nice and good. Gonna max the W second here, just for that increased sustain or damage, either or. He's gonna go Meganar, so yeah, I can't dive him in his Meganar, cause that'd just be absolutely insane. But after that, I might be able to pull off a dive here, if I see Ramus on the map. I feel like Ramus is gonna show up though, I think he has to soon. Cause I'm bowling this guy pretty hard here. So just gonna try and sustain up a little bit here, connect him with an E, that's beautiful. Where's his Q? Where'd that Q at? Alright, if he comes up, I'm gonna try and get on him here. Eh, I miss. But I hit the E, so not too bad. His jump's on cooldown. We'll just go ahead and shove so I get a lot of health back here. Yeah, once my jump's back up, I will definitely try a dive here. Oh, that E! Barely missed him. If that hit, I would have gone pretty ham there. Alright, we got the dive potential here. He's not even close to Meganar for him, and Aatrox's dive is really good. And we actually connect with that E, 
Gonna go ahead and pop my all and we'll flash in here, see if we can maybe snipe him with an E. Please. I missed. Alright, I hate myself. Flash for five, so that's not too terrible. And he's gonna miss all those minions, so it's not too bad, but I definitely should have hit that. Alright, we'll go ahead and just shove this up, and then we will go ahead and dip on out of here. And hopefully H or Talon's not roaming up to kill me here. Dang, I probably should have killed that. And there he is. Alright, I'm dead. Yeah, rip. Maybe I can teleport. Am I dead? Oh my god, I almost got out. <laughs> it was close. Kill him! Flash auto! There it is. Worth. Is she gonna live? Ah. Oh. Alright, so that sucks that Talon roamed up, but that was smart of him. And I did go down in the end, but they made plays around the map, so that's good out of the team to just know everyone and their mother was top lane pretty much. What do I want to buy? I think I'm gonna postpone my uh, Bork purchase, honestly. I'd rather just get healthy here, because now I'm not gonna look to all in, because I don't have teleport or flash. And I'd rather just keep Gnar in the lane here with the giant spell. Daggers aren't really going to help me, honestly. Daggers are pretty useless until you get the completed Bork. So. Oh well. Oh my god, I just realized I had Cutlass in that dive. I'm an idiot. Yep, that should have been a kill 100%, but I did not Cutlass. Ow, oh, that hurt. That's really embarrassing. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, we'll go ahead and just... Remember next time that we have a bilge wire cutlass that provides a slow, which is good for killing people. <laughs> All right, forces jump out of him, so that's not too bad. I have a little room to potentially go aggro on him, but I miss my E, so that's not going to happen. Don't have my TP up. It it, it will be up sooner than him though, because mine got interrupted, so I have that to look forward to. That guy's probably dead. Or you should probably try and leave her lane eventually. She is Zoom now, but she has not left her lane, and Talon's left his lane about three times now, so... Hopefully she can try and follow up on him. Do I have to go back? I think I have to go back here. That was a really good Ram Assault, but there's no one... Or, Zone Ult, but there's no one to follow it up, so they're gonna die. Yeah, that sucks. I mean, like, Ori's just chilling in the uh, mid lane there, not really offering anything. While everyone else is getting killed. I have decent sustain under the turret and I have my alt, so I'm gonna go ahead and just alt this wave under the turret here and try and get healthy here. Alright. Not too sure. I don't think he's gonna be able to kill me here. He's just trying to proxy the wave here. Alright, that's not terrible. I do need help though. I think he's pretty gankable. He wants to dive me once he hits Meganar, I bet. Yeah, he's going for the dive. Alright, dodge the Q, so I'll be fine here. Scion's going bottom again. I'm just gonna keep eating minions. I can do it all day. What's the CS score? Yeah, I'm still beating him in CS, so it's not too bad. Really? Am I made a dove? I'm gonna go ahead and ward behind me just to see if I find a random Talon roaming up. I'm gonna snipe the tank minion with a E there. Okay, he's back middle, so don't have to worry about getting dove. Okay, that's a failed dive. He did not connect to the stun. Had he connected the stun, I actually might have gone down there, but I'm just gonna juke out his boomerang and try and sustain up here. Not too bad. He's really low as well, so we're. We're barely surviving, but we're not missing too many last hits from just shoving in for free. So I'm okay with that. And my team's making plays on the map, so that's really what matters. If my team was losing everywhere else, I'd be kind of, you know, in a tough spot here. But everywhere else is doing decent, so... Me getting shoved in is not too terrible. I'm gonna go ahead and TP here. And see if we can help him out. We do have Oriana in the flank as well. This could be incredibly good here. Gonna go ahead and teleport in. Ball it right there. Ball me, Blazer. The three-man shockwave. That is just decimation right there. Can I get the slow going on? Can I? Can I? I do land the slow. I'm going for it, baby. Got the ball on me, too. I have my passive. I'm going to go in and... Hello? I guess they don't want to commit to it. I'll hop out. I'll be fine. Hopefully, save me! Ah, okay, we're alive. Whew. 
That ball delivery system, though. Good job. That was awesome. That was a really, really good teleport there. And I arrived before Nar, so I was able to make a pretty big impact on that team fight. Do I have enough for Bork? I think I do as well. That's awesome. So I get to pick up the Bork flat up. That's really good. What's their CC looking like? They got a lot of CC, but not a lot of AP. So I'm still just going to go for a Ninja Tabby here, actually, and just kind of deal with the CC that they're going to provide. And we'll go ahead and swap out the Trinket as well and pick up a Vision Ward, try and deny some Vision here. But that team fight was really, really good. That totally just got me back in the game completely. Score is 10 to 8 right now. I'm 2 1 1. Unfortunately, Sion did go down, but I don't think they're going to lose too much out of it. Oriana's there. She's got great wave clear. Boom. Holy crap, that was a lot of damage. So I will return top lane here and just hopefully get all this CS here. Level 11 to rank 2 ultimate and got the doobies on me, so. I'm ready to brawl if Nara wants to. Don't have TP up. I think Nara walked down, so he should have his teleport still, so gotta be mindful of that. Varus is pushing solo. Very risky choice by him. He just teleported top. He just... What the? This kid's insane. Aw, I thought he'd jump into that. I'm gonna fight him though, because I have double buffs here, so I don't care, I'll fight you. Did pop my ult, it wasn't the best ult, but do it. I might have to flash his engage here, but we'll see. Alright, not too bad. He doesn't have flash, I don't have flash. He still has his ult though, so I don't want to get thrown into a wall. Both playing it safe. I don't have my passive, that's why I, I had to flash out there at the end, but if I had it up, I would have just stayed for the all-in. Alright, juked his boulder toss. Nice, hit him with an E as well. Oh no! Can I hop out, please? Damn. That flash, that flash though. I almost got out. I think Sona's got the cleanup, dude. She's going ham with the... What? You should have gone, girl. Oh, she's going for the turret. <laughs> Alright, well, Rama should have top again, so that's a free dragon for the team here, so... Again, them just utilizing the map pressure that they have available. He should go down. Nice. And Talon suicided. Didn't pick it up. Morgana probably dead here as well. Smack. Worth, dude. So yeah, it sucks that I am dying, but I'm creating enough pressure on the map where my team's doing a really good job and uh, taking objectives while I'm creating that pressure. And unfortunately, I almost... Probably could have got a kill there if I had just hit Ramus probably instead of trying to jump away, but that was a good flash engaged by that Ramus there. That was the only way they were going to be able to pick me up. I don't think I'll lose this tower, so that's not too bad. Two kills, dragon for a kill, so I'll take that trade. And now Ram no flash. I'm going to let my team know Ramus doesn't have flash, because obviously that's a pretty big thing to know. I'm not going to get that. I probably should have turned on my W there for extra damage. Alright, still maxing that W. Teleport up in 60 seconds. I'm just going to shove out one wave here and try and just duke it out with this Gnar. Alright, once I get my E up, I might jump on him here. He is slow. I could go on him. Alright, we'll go ahead and turn on the W here, get a few hits here. A decent amount of damage there, actually. And he goes Mega Nar for him. Does not connect the boulder though, so most of his damage is gone. Missed another boulder. He's gonna try and throw me into the wall. Okay, I dodged his W, so we should be able to get him here actually. Bork? Oh my god, I was so close to Bork range. And I'm gonna get it. Oh my god, I got him. And I got my W going! Oh, I, I can still take this kid. I can still take this kid. Just kidding. Maybe? Hello? Jump on him? No! If I got that knockup, dude, I would have had him. But my team's three manning mid, and they're killing Ramus too. So, still making plays, and I ended up getting a one for one exchange. So, not too bad overall. Damn, that was so close. Had I knocked him up, man, would have had enough sustain there out of my W. But yeah, well played out of the team. They're just absolutely destroying the map wall. They commit two or three champions to me. So I'm 3 one 163 CS, 2 is 126. I actually have the most CS in the game, so that's pretty successful in that sense. Do 
do I need to TP down? I will TP down just to, you know, reassure the team here. Wasn't the best, but I think it kind of maybe thwarted off the enemy here. Ooh, that Dark Binding had connected. Oh, he's gonna hit Meganar. We might be in trouble here. Good flash out of the Sona there. I'm gonna go ahead and just try and peel for this Orianna here. Oh my god, I'm dead. Damn. Alright, maybe I should have popped my ult, but Graves is coming up from the flank. He should be able to take out at least two members there, potentially. Should I have ulted? I don't know if it would have made me live. I'd have to have hit something, and there wasn't really anything for me to hit because I was ignited. That is not how you take people out. He m Oh, good exhaust. He's dead. He got lucky. <laughs> oh, it's not going to be enough. And the binding connects as well. Yeah, if he didn't have Sunfire Cape, he might have died, but you can't do that. So I guess I just died for free. I did get a kill, though. I killed Talon, so it's not too bad. Got my random summon now, though, so I'm going to be really, really hard to take down in these fights. Oh, we should be good. You, on the other hand, are not good. Popped your heal way too late. Tried to get the MS boost to uh, run away there, but was not even close. What's next? Dragon in two minutes. Baron is up. I have my pink ward, so... Whenever Talon ults, I'm just going to plop a pink ward down, and he's pretty much going to be useless that way, so that'll be good. Yo, can we kill him? Damn. I think we potentially could have got the jump on him there. I'm going to go over the wall here, see if Morgana's here. She is, actually, so I'm going to go ahead and connect the E. Oh, and she's gone. Oh, we did have to ult, but I would definitely say worth if we can group up as a team right now and make use of their support and, honestly, a lot of their peel off the map for free. Or for an Oriole, I guess I should say. But no one's in a really good position to make a play off of that kill, so that's a little unfortunate. Gonna go ahead and pink ward up. I'll let her auto that so I don't get hit by a Talon E. I mean, Nars top lane, we have the ability to try and take some tower damage here, but at the same time, they have Ramus who's gonna just taunt us. I don't know what this kid's doing now. I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in there and force their ults on me, actually. And I'm gonna flash on him and Bork. And he's going down. There's one kill. He was kind of mispositioned. I need to get out of here, though. Talon might be coming at me. I gotta, I gotta make some jukes here, guys. That's not how you. That's not how you want to do it. <laughs> I had Ramus coming from one side, and I knew they were going on the other side. But oh well, got one for one, and Sans pushing top lane. So again, we're still winning just because we're taking objectives after every fight. But could have been a little cleaner. Oh, he's gonna be fine. All right, what do I want to go next? Nice turn in the top lane. I'm just going to go Warmogs, honestly. It's kind of bitch mode, but we need a frontliner still, and I'm willing to do it, so I don't need to buy any A or MR, because, again, they have Morgana for AP and maybe a little bears, but for the most part, you can just get random ones and then go healthy armor items here. All right, no one saw that. AFK, going to kill myself. Dragon is up, so we can definitely just swing by and pick that up pretty fast. I do have my passive as well, so that'll be good. 5-5-2 five, five, is the score, and 1914 is the overall score. Pretty close in kills, but not even close as far as objectives goes. They have two turrets to our, what, one, two, three, four turrets, and we have gotten two dragons for free. Gonna be three now, so we are really, really far ahead in objectives. Graves should be good. Hopefully he's good. And I'm just gonna... Oh, the Oriole! I'm gonna go ahead and just go on the Graves here, see, or Varus, whoever he is. Pick him off really fast. And I got Nar in the back line. Okay, flashes to try and engage in. And we could definitely do some damage here. Gonna go ahead and pop my Randys. And we're just sitting in our damage W here, dealing tons of damage, as Speak would say. That was a 4 for 0. Oh my goodness. We didn't even have that good of a Oriana, in my opinion. Only hit one target, but... I guess we just had pretty sick peels there. And I did keep, one, I soloed their AD carry, and two, I kept their frontliner of Gnar out of the team fight. so I guess that might have been why we came out so far ahead in that team fight. But that's going to be 
a free in-hit for us, and there goes just... The pressure has been increased tenfold now that we have an uh, in-hit on this team. Gonna go ahead and jump out. I don't think we should rush Dragon, just because we need to go back and be healthy in case they try and retaliate with a Baron. So I'd rather play it safe here and guarantee they can't potentially come back in the game. And I will pick up that Ruby Crystal here and then... Yeah, we'll just buy only that. We don't need anything else. Wait. We got Dragon too? Oh my god, I didn't even notice that. So 4 for O, Inhib, and Dragon. That is insane. Looks like they are going to try and press for Ori's Blue. So I'm going to go just double check, make sure, okay, they are. I'm going to go over the wall though, because, I, yeah, I could tell they're still trying to do it there. Am I in trouble here? I'm going to go ahead and pop everything here, my all, and pop the W, and maybe we can give this Talon. Oh, you're going down, buddy. We got the Scion coming in from the flank here. I'm going to jump in there. It's a bouncy house up in here. Look at this kid. And try and sustain with my W. Okay, he jumps on me. I thought I could make it, but no. What do we get? Okay, they get away with the blue buff. Damn it. So one for one again, but whatever. How much is this? 14.30. All right. I do have my teleport as well. I have TP. Can split bottom. If they want, I'll go bottom now because we have an inhib up. And if I go bottom and create pressure, they can easily try and bait a Baron or even do it. Just because, again, it's going to take two people, honestly, to stop me from just taking all of their bot lane turrets here. So I offered to split push bot, and then they send four people bot, so maybe I'll just go top lane and get this juicy wave. What are they doing? Trying to catch someone, maybe? Oh, they're up by Fissa. They could easily take that. Good flash. Might have gotten popped by the Talon, but now Talon has no initiate, so that's really good for us. And Graves. Oh my god, that womp. Oh my. That was... No words, dude. That was disgusting. Graves is a genius masturbator, dude. That was actually disgusting. If, that, if there had been five enemies there, that would be a top one play. No, no questions asked of the week. Like, that wombo was disgusting. That's probably the game, honestly. I don't know why I'm so... I'm just going to teleport in the game. That was incredible. No words. But yeah, it looks like we did... Whew, we are just going to plow down these Nexus turrets here. And that will be the game, more than likely. 6-6-5 six, six, is my score overall. I'm just going to jump in. Why not? We'll tank it up a little bit here. Keep the enemy off. Oh god, let's not take it up that hard. No! Are we gonna win? Or did we throw? Oh, don't do it. Don't do it, man! Why me? I hate this game. I think we're gonna end because they did that, though. Whatever. I'll take it. So that is gonna be the game, though. Pretty successful game overall. I honestly wasn't pressed as hard as I thought I would be early on in the lane. And I had a pretty key teleport play about mid-game that really got me pretty beefy. And my team just did a really, really good job of taking objectives when they allocated two plus members to stop me in the top lane. So, well played out of my team as well. If you liked the video, go ahead and throw it a like. I'll have all my other social media such as Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. As well as all my, I don't even know, Riz Masteries, yeah. And the inbox below. And as always, guys, I'll see you all next time.